Hey guys, Andy Hake here with InsulWise in Pittsburgh. And today we're gonna to look at with possibly the worst attic that I've ever seen. So, uh, you know, this homeowner had comfort issues and high energy bills, and they called us out to take a look at what was going on up here. And what we found when we got here was really uh, uh, kind of shocking. So we're just gonna run through the things that we're looking at here real quick. First thing we have is your pull down ladder that most homes have totally uninsulated and there's gaps all the way around it. Not sure if you can see the daylight coming up from below or not from the room below, but this is just gonna allow for an enormous amount of air leakage to come up from the winter time, as well as heat gain from the summer to drop down and penetrate through this and make the room below hot. Now, the next thing that this lovely attic here has, it's the attic floor is completely unair sealed. So we've got things like this. This is a vent for the dryer and you can see the light from below, okay? Now, <laughs> when you've got an unair sealed attic floor, it just allows heat from the home to uh, vent upward to, through to the attic and escape to the neighborhood all winter long, which causes energy loss and uh, comfort issues. Now, the next thing that we have here, which is uh, you know really pretty impressive, is uh, copper water lines that are exposed in an attic in uh, a northern cold climate. So if the goal is to have water lines that freeze and burst in the winter, this is how you do this. Now we're gonna fix this later and we'll show you guys later how, but uh, this is a pretty impressive element. We're gonna pop over here and see what we got over here. Next we have a really old junky bathroom fan. And in addition to it, probably not working that well. It's also not connected to the outside. So when this thing gets turned on, it's just gonna blow its moist, steamy bathroom air down into this section of the roof. And I'm actually shocked that there's not a mold problem right now, but uh, that's definitely not something you'd ever wanna have in your house. Now, over to this area, so the next thing we've got here in this attic is uh, we've got a ridge vent. You can see that was cut in right here and we can see here plenty of sound coming from the outside. I know that there's air moving through that. Uh, but when you've got an unconditioned attic, which is what we have here, your ventilation needs to be balanced. This attic only has exhaust ventilation. There's no intake down around the perimeter of either side of it. That means that we can only have air moving up from this space and when you have a vent set up like this and you only have exhaust ventilation, it tends to pull air from inside your house rather than the outside. And that leads to further additional energy loss and can actually contribute to mold problems. Now, the last amazing thing we have in the worst attic of all time is over here. Now, the next thing that we're gonna look at in the worst attic that I've ever seen is a duct system that's so poorly constructed that these collars that are supposed to be attached to this trunk line here are actually disconnected, bulging out. You can see the black in this fiberglass here. That's from all the dust coming out and getting trapped in it. And the furnace is on right now, it's running. And if I hold my hand right here, it feels like it's over a heating register. We're gonna put this infrared camera over that and see how it looks and it looks like a bonfire. So that's the degree of energy loss that this homeowner has going on in the attic right now, going right to the neighborhood. Now last but not least with this attic, uh, it's super poorly insulated, okay? The floor joists here are uh, two by sixes and we've got maybe six inches here on the ground. It's about an R19. Really, when everything's done, it should be an R49, which is about 15 inches of cellulose or say 24 inches of blown fiberglass. But uh, stick around for the end and we're gonna show you how this thing looks after it's been upgraded, retrofitted, and made super awesome and energy efficient. Uh. You see the lines here. I'm just installing this back over top of them, pushing it down the side. And you can see there's an open cavity.
tighten it down. You can see that cinch up, hopefully. Tight. Now snip it. Now this thing is not coming off. If you found the video helpful, please click the like and subscribe button. And if you live in the Pittsburgh area or like Insulwise to come out and help make your home more energy efficient and comfortable, look us up or give us a call at this number. Thank you for your time.